So this is our digital twin project. Its purpose is to show the various features integrating external devices that replicate a real world scenario within Unreal that you can both receive data from and send data, uh, commands to. Um, we currently have MQTT integration for real time data, which is widely supported, and InfluxDB for persistent data, which is the most common uh, time series based database used currently. Um, you can see here we have a number of sensors. There's Dennis in Amsterdam who has a temperature and humidity sensor. And these values are being read on the server only and then replicated to all the clients. And then Lucas has the same sensors in Wales, a temperature and humidity sensor. Um, and they also have lights. So here's Dennis's. If you watch him and I turn it on, there it is. And then I can turn it off. And Lucas has a buzzer, so I can turn that on. Yeah, maybe we can explain a little bit uh, how the server infrastructure works. So basically what we have here, uh, we have a, a pixel streaming client, which run an on George PC basically, and we have a uh, just normal client on the right, which also run it on George PC. And then we have like Unreal Engine server there. So basically the idea is like, you know, like uh, we can just give you a public link to everybody, like for example, to connect to pixel streaming client, or you can have a build of just normal Unreal Engine client and connect to the project, just like and spawn your palm and basically have like uh, your Unreal Engine instance. And also maybe George, you can tell a little bit more about uh, InfluxDB and history of data. It's not implemented fully, but at least like get some idea. For InfluxDB, we wanted both a real-time and persistent data source. The real-time data source is MQTT at the moment, um, but we also want a historical one. So you could go back in time and see those values as they were recorded. Um, and that's what we've used InfluxDB for. It seemed to be the most popular and widely used of the time series based databases which is basically specialized for this purpose where all the values are indexed by a timestamp. So if that's available for any given sensor, that's used whenever you alter the time um, and you go back and forward in the time slider here and you'll see that uh, at the top right, if you ever change the time, it will indicate that it's paused and that it's not uh, real time. And as I said, if the data is available in that persistent source, that's what's displayed rather than the real time source. It's not replicated at the moment, but this will also be shown down the bottom as a graph. Uh, we also have several overlay modes which help visualize the different data types in isolation. They're all the same at the moment, but the plan is to have them different, obviously. Um, so for example, if you press the temperature overlay, that will show all the temperature sensors as a heat map uh, with the location, the radius and fall off, and the value of the temperature uh, represented as the false color gradient that's shown on the left. There will also may be a second mode or false color that will show in and out of bounds values according to a user specified range. So can you see my screen guys? Yep. Yeah, basically uh, what it could be, see like, you know, like I have access to pixel streaming also, and I can see what's going on on George PC basically. It's right now paused. Uh, but George, you can maybe move the mouse left and right. Um, yeah. So 
this schizophrenia is basically everyone who connects shares the same client. Um, there's no exclusive yeah. access to clients. So anyone who interacts with them, that has been reflected um, in everyone else's screen who's connected to the same client. So I'm actually yeah. using it now. Um, and you'll see, if I just unpause the time, there it's also seeing it's the same thing. And I can move as well. So basically right now I'm moving. Let me focus on my sensors. And if I can just type here, switch on. Right, type this correctly. Uh, it's not easy to. Yeah, and you can see I have a light here running. And also I can type it back. Switch. Off. and it's disabled right now and then so on so on so basically you can have this link to this public interface and with uh pixel streaming you can see your basically infrastructure what's going on with your sensors and kind of update your sensors data 